my name is Maria and I'm the Ventures Operations Manager here at Harcourt's Pinnacle. And I'm here today with one of our business owners and sales agents, Johnny Lee. Um, a question that we get asked a fair bit by investors is when they're looking to sell, what is it that's going to add more value to their sales price? Um, yeah, so it's a very common topic and which is why we're doing this video. So basically, I would like to say the ideal situation <coughs> if we're focusing on making the maximum profit is that I would strongly recommend to only sell the property at the end of the tenancy when the tenants leave and vacant. And from then on, the most important thing is to ensure that the property is presented as well as, as it is possible. The reason I say when tenants leave is under the law in Queensland, the issue that we face is that if we're selling a property that's tenanted, the first issue is that we can only um, hold open homes if the tenants agree to it and we can only take photographs if the tenants agree to it. So in the case if the tenant does not agree to it, it's basically like selling a property with our hands tied behind our backs. Very limited. Yeah, which is really limited. And I understand the fact that owners do say that, you know, I need the income. Yep. But what we found over the last 12 years time and time again is you might end up losing a few thousand dollars in income, having it vacant for a few months. But what we find is in terms of the final sale price, you generally get four or five or even six times back or, or even the fact whether it's going to be saleable or not. So what I recommend is get the tenants out and go through the property and fix all maintenance issue within the property. So anything that could crash a, pro uh, crash a contract, for example, leaks, um, termites, um, so fix everything, get every light working, make sure all appliances are working. And what we found in recent times that gives you the maximum bang for buck return is that if the paint in the property condition is not great, mm -hmm. get a painter in, do a one coat same color paint so that it's not a huge amount in terms of cost, but the result is exceptional because buyers buy what they see and how it makes them feel. and the finishing especially of a paint makes the biggest difference to the offer on what they would that what they would make and from then on i would strongly recommend to if it's in your budget to get the profit uh, the property professionally staged and here is once again selling an empty property is okay but it's very hard to visualize and what we found in recent times is that the cost of stage a property could be anywhere between two and a half to four thousand depending on the size of your property the minimum benefit that we find is at least what you paid for it and a quicker sale. However, most of the time you get at least double what you spend on it back. And I literally stand by this, you know, we see this week after week after week. We've seen owners constantly trying to sell properties that are tenanted because they refuse to lose X amount of dollars a week due to rent. But we constantly see that the end result is not great. They either get a really low offer, not a great sale, um, and pretty much that's the biggest issue. So strongly recommend that you know if you're in a position as an investor where you are focused on getting the absolute best dollar that the market has to offer. And so long the cash flow is there as as cash well. flow is there. Yeah. And like I say, the good thing these days is well, even if your cash flow is not there, whether it's our agency or another agency, there are a lot of products out there that will allow you to fund that will allow you to fund for all of this um, this marketing and staging and only pay at the end of settlement as well. So, so that's an option that we'll have. But honestly, you have to invest in your property if you want to get the best return. Do you find this is true for the whole of North Side of Brisbane or do you find this is true for specific areas only? So, um, you know, obviously we sell the white areas in the office mm -hmm. all the way from, you know, I think 40 Deep Valley we've sold there um, all the way through to Moray Field out yeah. there as well. And to be honest with you, I I would dare say with, with confidence based on my experience that it's true everywhere. So I say it's, you know, it's, it's, it's true, it's really, really important and there's no other way to do it if your focus is getting the best result. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Johnny. Nice. Thank you for your time. Um, if you've got any further questions about either selling or renting or investing on the north side of Brisbane, we're always here to help. If you've got specific questions that you think might be of value to others, comment below and we'll see if we can make another video about it. Other than that, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. See you later.